What I wanted to do on the CircuitPython Parsec today is start to introduce Vector.io. Vector.io is a lightweight 2D shape generation library that works side by side with Display.io. Now we can already create shapes using Display.io, but these are designed to run faster, take up less memory, and they also are a little more efficient in that in the case of this circle, it really only refreshes the pixels where the circle are rather than a sort of rectangular bitmap of where the circle exists. So I'm importing here the display IO library and then vector IO. I'm setting up a couple of palettes because I want to use two different colors. Now I'm setting up a variable called ball rad. That's the ball radius. Right now it's set to 13. How about we update this? I'll make this a radius of 20. And then here's how I create it. Right now we have sort of three things we can use inside of vector IO. We have the circle, we have the rectangle, and we have a polygon. Today I'm just going to look at circle and rectangle. So for creating the circle, I do vector IO dot circle, and then I tell it which color to use, the radius, and then an X and a Y position. Then I'm doing a similar thing to create a paddle, as if we're doing a little breakout type of game. And that's a rectangle, again, with a color, a width, a height, and an X and a Y position. I'm deriving those from the positions of the ball. Then if I append those to the main group of display IO and hit save here, it's gonna refresh and in a second it's gonna redraw and now it's gonna have this new larger radius. Now to show that these actually run pretty nice and fast, I am using a little bit of code that Todd Bot provided and this is a sort of bouncing, a little bouncing ball algorithm that reverses or inverses the X and Y position whenever we reach one of the extents of the screen or the top of the paddle in this case. That is the basics of how you can use vector IO to create a circle and a rectangle inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.